Hey everyone, Rhino here with our next book club selection. This time around, we're going to be reading How I Paid for College, a novel of sex, theft, friendship, and musical theater by Mark Aceto. This is actually one of my favorite books. Uh, yes, I have read it before. Um, I read it way back when it came out in 2004. I bought it for everyone for Christmas that year. I even wrote to the author as soon as I was done reading it, which is embarrassing. But he wrote me back and sent me little autograph book plates, which was which was super, super, super uh, kind of him, but uh, I haven't read this book in probably about 10 years or so, maybe more, uh, but I, it is just one of those books that I love to share with people, and I've been itching to reread it, and now that we've done, we've started this uh, online book club, I thought, what better place to share this, my love of this book, than with all of you out there, so I'm going to give you a little read of the uh, teaser from Marcosito's website here, and embezzlement, blackmail, fraud, high school. How I Paid for College is a comic novel about a talented but irresponsible teenager who schemes to steal his college tuition money when his wealthy father refuses to pay for acting school. It's 1983 in Wallingford, New Jersey, a sleepy bedroom community outside of Manhattan. 17-year-old Edward Zanny, a freckless... A Feckless, excuse me, Ferris Bueller type is Peter panning his way through a carefree summer of magic and mischief, sending underwear up flagpoles and rearranging lawn animals in compromising positions. The fun comes to a screeching halt, however, when Edward's father remarries and refuses to pay for Edward to study acting at Juilliard. In a word, Edward screwed. He's ineligible for scholarships because his father earns too much. He's unable to contact his mother because she's no, uh, she's somewhere in Peru trying to commune with the Incan spirits. And in a sure sign he's destined for a life in the arts, Edward's incapable of holding down a job. One little flesh wound on a Pekingese is all it takes to get fired as a dog groomer, even if you artfully arrange its hair so that the scar doesn't show. So Edward turns his loyal but immoral misfit theater pals to help it turns to excuse me turns to his loyal but immoral misfit theater pals to help him steal the tuition money from his father disguising himself uh, disguising themselves as nuns and priests because who's going to question the motives of a bunch of nuns and priests they merrily scheme their way through embezzlement money laundering identity theft forgery and blackmail but along the way, Edward also learns the value of friendship, hard work, and how you're not really a man until you can beat up your father. Metaphorically, that is. How I Paid for College is a farcical coming-of-age story as if Catcher in the Rye were performed by the kids from fame. How I Paid for College is a book for anyone who's ever had a dream and a scheme. 348 pages, so not a super long book. So uh, not, not not that the page count matters, but, you know, it can be intimidating to some. I mean, you can imagine my shock when my copy of It came in and I realized it was longer than the dictionary. So that was a bit much for me. But um, I checked this is available on Amazon. Uh, you can do uh, an audiobook. You can do the Kindle. You can do it on Apple Books as well. It's on there. Uh, I, I checked in some of the... Uh, in um it's either libby or hoopla one of the two of those uh which is a library resource there was the audiobook available but i didn't see an ebook in there so it it might vary based on region where you're living but i thought this would be it's fun it's lighthearted. it's set in the 80s i mean how this wasn't made into a movie yet is beyond me because i would love to make this book into a movie dreams am i right but uh i thought this would be a fun escape so we're gonna check it out let me know uh what you think as you're reading please comment on this video if you've already started reading it if you've already read it uh and then like we did last time i'll come back with a video for my thoughts and let you know what i think after my reread and then we can do another live uh, video and have a fun chat about it i think that would be i think that would be a lot of fun so i really hope that you enjoy this um let me know if you have any questions about how to, I mean, get a hold of the book. There is a great resource out there called Google. So remember, it is called How I Paid for College by Marcus Hito. It's in the title, in the description. You'll find it. I trust in you. And uh, I'm going to go and start reading my copy. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for this journey we're all on together. So I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you soon.